Hey everybody, Riker Rider here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wario Land 4. In today's episode, we're going to be heading to the second stage of the Sapphire Passage, Arabian Night. I'm not quite sure how this fits in with the horror theme of the passage, but... This is the closest thing you'll get to, like, a regular stage here. Oh, these flying scarabs are easily the most annoying enemies you'll run into here. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna gather all these guys in a corner so they're easier to jump over. And this is also the area of the game in which I discovered that you can only have five life orbs on the screen at the same time. There are a lot of enemies for you to look out here. Look out for here. So I'm going to play it safe and let my heart bar fill up once. The reason why I'm pounding the ground over and over again here is to try to lure them all into one place so that I can jump over them very easily. Because otherwise things like that will happen. And I would have had full health by now. I am going to need to get a zombie to get though. Because there is a jewel piece of, uh, where that fountain that had the diamond was on normal. I mean, I would love to go to... Uh, to a GDQ, but the main the main thing keeping me there, uh, keeping me from going is travel. Because unfortunately, I can't travel very easily. Uh, not to mention, I don't like doing it, and I would be going there alone since I don't really know anyone else uh, in person in the speedrunning community. And also, I don't think my game would make the final cut. Just because DKC3 is kind of the black sheep of the series. This bonus room is fairly simple. I will continue doing DKC3 runs, though. Get back here. Can't you move any faster, you old coot? My grandma can move faster than you can. There's gotta be a heart around here somewhere. Oh, up here, okay. Good. Now that that's taken care of, I'm gonna take care of these two idiots over here, hopefully, without getting hit. Good. I did go all the way down, good. I 
And also, I'm not a guy that like that really likes to travel. I've only been out of state uh, twice. Once to uh, once to Wisconsin, and uh, once to Florida. That's it. And I went to Florida when I was really young, like seven years old. Why'd I do that? I need to get a carpet over here to get over to those uh, crystals. Oh, if you think this area is clustered with scarabs now, wait until you see super hard. It gets bad. It gets almost to be like a bullet hell game on, uh, on super hard. There we go, that's what I needed to happen, just not in that location. Okay, good, I just flipped it. Because I gotta turn into a bat to... to get up to where Keezer is, and this is probably the easiest... the easiest missed Keezer in the game. I remember my first time through the game, I finished, I finished the stage with uh, the four jewel pieces, and I was wondering why I couldn't move on to the next stage. And then I was like, where's Keezer? That's another one that's really easy to forget about. I distinctly remember on some of the stages on the, on, uh, on, uh, super, or some of the areas in this stage on super hard, there being no, uh, there being basically no gaps between the scarabs, and it is really brutal. Then again, this whole game on super hard is ridiculous. That should be everything. Now don't get turned into a zombie here, because if you do, you're gonna have to go all the way back to the bottom, and it's really frustrating. Except right here, I think you need to get turned into one. And then I believe I have to fall in a very specific spot. Right here. Entirely worth it. Now, most of our treasure is going to be back back down here in the one area you get to explore after hitting the frog switch. But we're not going to have a lot of time. Because the last jewel piece of, uh, the last jewel piece in the CD are both here. I'm not even going to bother with that fish. If you want to get everything in this stage, you're going to have to hurry.
And if memory serves, there's a lot of treasure up top. Very careful in collecting these two diamonds up here. Really? That was not very nice game. see just how much treasure came up uh, in this room. Thankfully, getting back to the warp is a piece of cake after you get out of this room. Okay, just enough. Good. I mean, we had 9,200 after hitting the frogs, so it just shows you how much treasure there is in these two rooms. That should be everything. What do we got, 17,450? Yep, four jewel pieces of CD, a keyser, and 17,450 for coinage. That was actually a really clean stage, and I'm happy with how that turned out. Coming up next time on Let's Play Wario Land 4 is quite possibly the hardest stage in the game, the Fiery Cavern. For now, though, enjoy the CD that we got from Arabian Night, and I will see you guys next time.